James Rizika. And I'm Andres Lorente. And uh, welcome, welcome to the Popcorn Counter, which is like the kind of the sub podcast of the uh, the Two Real Cinema Club. The B pod, but the under pod, the secondary pod. It's like the it's like the offshoot podcast. Oh, like an escape pod. Perfect. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. The par- the the parallel pod, the mini pod. The iPod Mini. Oh, it's like it comes in between major pods. Does that make sense? It does make some sense. I I feel like I've been here before. <laughs> it's like a memory pod or something. <laughs> a sensory pod. Yeah. I mean, anyway, I'm glad I'm glad you're here because um, uh, in between watching the films, I'm currently working on a pitch yeah. uh, for a rom com. I could do with some help uh, just developing it. Let me come. So let me let me tell you what I've got so far. Okay. See whether you can help me. Um, kind of embellish this a little bit or just develop it a bit yeah okay okay so so far like there's a girl yeah yeah and uh she likes this boy Mm -hmm. well that's it that's it do you think you can help me flesh it out a bit that's all you have but that's all i got so far do you think that's enough well my first suggestion is maybe don't write this at a popcorn counter in a movie theater you might want to work at home or make like a writer drink a lot of coffee at a starbucks use their electricity starbucks. their wi-fi i think you'd be more yeah, successful they don't have popcorn way. at starbucks um you have what you need to start <laughs> um these days it doesn't have to be a girl and a boy yeah, that's true. You're right. Yeah, I'm already falling into that sliding doors, white people problems trap. You don't even I? have to have girls and boys in it. Yeah, so maybe we, what, what, what is the old rule? Um, girl meets boy, girl loses boy, girl gets boy back, something like that, right? That's what we were taught. Like they have to break up at some point. They have to break up. Okay, so they have to break up. Yeah. Um, this okay. is the sound of me typing. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Um, at some point, I think it's at... End of Act Two or midpoint, something like that, depending where you want to do it. So, but then sometimes they break up right at the start of the film. That would be good. I think that's done less often. Do you want to make yours very formulaic so it sells and you make millions of dollars, or do you want something that doesn't really get very much notice and is unpopular and basically drives you into another career? I prefer that one where I make millions of dollars. What okay. do you think of that? Then I think they have to break up a little later. Okay, the midpoint. Midpoint. So who's who's this girl? Um. How about Megan? Megan, that's good. So that's got that's got that kind of that royal family aspect oh, to it now. Oh well, yep. Megan is a hot ex, name. Ex royal. That's good. Yeah, okay, I'll go with that. Okay. Um, what does she, what does she do for a living? Well, it's convenient if she's already doing something in the romance industry. Maybe she's a matchmaker, or maybe she's just a, a baker of cakes because they do things. I feel like I feel like I might already have seen this film. It just feels this is so good. She's a baker of cakes. That's good. It means that so. people are gonna have forgotten seeing it, and they'll be ready for another one that's just <laughs> like it. A baker of cakes. What was Jennifer Lopez? Was that the wedding planner? The wedding planner. Oh, was that Jennifer? It? I think it was Jennifer Lopez. Was that or was was it not? Was she not a maid in Manhattan? Oh, she was definitely point? a maid in Manhattan. But well, she got she also got she got locked in the trunk of a car with George Clooney. Was that the, was that all in the same film? Oh my god! Let's stay away from that. That's a bit morbid for so far. Maybe later in the in the in the film you could do that. So, I think okay. So she's called Megan. She bakes cakes. I think she's also she's also a part time cop. Um, because I don't, I think, don't think you can make a film like this if you don't have some action in these, these days. Uh, so she bakes cakes, but she's a part-time cop. That's a nice, yeah, that's nice. That's a nice little twist on the genre. Okay, okay. I should probably figure out right now, am I getting credit when you write this? Is this a writer <laughs> credit for me, co-writer? What happens here? I think I think you're getting 50%. All right, sweet. Let's but don't forget that 50% of nothing is still nothing. <laughs> So who's who's the boy? So 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 we have Megan, yeah, part time cop, yeah. baker of cakes, nice to professional level. She's yeah. a highly accomplished cook. Yeah, she likes a boy. Who is this boy? I, and I get some kind of topical name. What what what's the name that's in the news a lot? Average Joe, like a Joe. Average Joe. Average Joe, Joe. Biden. She likes Joe Biden. Yeah. She likes Joe. Yeah. yeah. Biden. Because that that fits together with the cop part. She maybe she's oh. uh, she's some kind of. Some kind of presidential detail. Is it, can we afford to get Joe Biden? Per, well, in a couple of years, yeah, probably. <laughs> it's going to need I, to... I think. Are, are we not hoping that Joe Biden is going to be busy at least for the next six years? He's going to be padding the retirement here soon, so he'll need the extra money. Uh, maybe we might have to have somebody besides Joe Biden. I bet she likes Joe something. 
um, Joe. Oh, Rogan. Joe Rogan. Oh God, no, please. no, no, he, no. Carry on. He could be a Joe. What's a good British name? You could have a cross-cultural rom-com. That way, you get a bit more audience. It'll have to be. It have to be Charles then. Oh, Charles. Okay, Charles. 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 That's like that's Tra- yeah. Charles that's the British King. Name. Charles King. Charles King. Brilliant. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> okay, and uh, so this guy. So she's Megan. Yeah. Part-time cop. Excellent baker. Yeah. But she's secretly in love with Charles King. Yes. Who is a... Well, could he be a colleague at work? A policeman? Or is he who a... Who is? Up at, is he a colleague at, at the police station? Maybe, or is he a colleague at the bakery? She has a whole set of colleagues. Maybe he's a British cop in the United States on a mission of some sort. <laughs> Right. Yeah, that happens all the time. Like maybe there's some fugitive because you you could get a just the taste of a different genre in there if they're both doing police work and she's helping him solve his crime, but also baking cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love this. This is so good. She's helping him to solve a crime. It's like an Interpol territory here, I guess. Well, also. Mm-hmm. Baking cakes. Now, you, I know that in films, you've got to use that skill of baking cakes later. Does she have to get a, a, a weapon into a prison or out of prison? Does she get something in the cake? Does she poison yeah. people using the cake to knock them out for a little while while they solve the crime or something like that? There's, There's, if you put a, it's a serious question, if you, put a, if you put a firearm in a cake and yeah. then bake it, does the firearm discharge? Um, probably. So just don't load it until after you've baked the cake. Oh, then you have to take it so out. For, I know, I'm thinking Messy. this could be a serious plot point, it's, that she puts the weapon in the cake. Oh, yeah. And then it discharges while she's baking. And then it baking. discharges, yeah. I love it. Maybe that's the point, is that she's baking it in enemy territory and she wants to have an explosion. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's good. This is, this is all. This is rom com meets Mission Impossible. This stuff writes itself. This stuff writes itself. So we need a best friend. Who's the best friend then? So she has a best friend who is called a bestie. Bestie, yes, excellent. Okay, yeah. <laughs> She's called or bestie. How about Betsy? It makes it a little less obvious. Bet's best friend is Betsy. 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 T T is my gram of bestie. Exactly. Okay, so her best friend's Betsy. And is this story taking place in the United States? And the British cop is in the U.S. on the mission, right? So New York City, Boston, Chicago, what do you think? I'm, I'm thinking Miami. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Perfect. It's all set in Miami. Perfect, because then uh, the British guy can get really sunburned. That's always funny. Yeah, yep, you're right. Yeah, skin injury is always funny. Maybe That's a, good. Maybe a dance scene where he's not very good on the <laughs> dance floor. I mean got to use these things there is a dance scene i see you writing it <laughs> I'm, I'm typing it right now absolutely this is this is gold i can't let any of this slip away so um i think the way these these films work it has to have a setup so we've got megan she's a baker of cakes she's also a part-time cop but her career is kind of going nowhere yeah. and then a british cop arrives yeah at, at, the, at the at the cop station yep. you know he's uh, he's a little bit secretive he's on in the u.s on a mission and she gets assigned to help him Yes. She quite likes him, but she doesn't know how to approach him. He seems so aloof. Um, she talks to her best friend, Betsy. Mm-hmm. There, there is a dance scene, maybe because there's a bit of undercover work. And then things go wrong. Yeah. Well, I think the reason that her boss has paired her with is his name, Charles, with Charles, Charles yeah. is because maybe a criminal element is getting married somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> right. So okay, she yes. can really infiltrate the wedding with her cake and her weapon. Yeah. So they have to go to a mafia wedding. Oh God, that's a great trope. Yeah. So there's some sort of mafia wedding <laughs> with <laughs> infiltrating it with a cake. And maybe someone's gonna perform a hit job against a British diplomat at the wedding, and that's why. Ah, uh, right. So she's torn in between the mafia, maybe who's telling her to sneak a gun into the wedding. And her actual work environment where she's falling in love with this, this foreign policeman um, and trying to help him. I think the cake has to discharge at the wedding. I want to maybe right around the time when they're going to – they often cut the cake and then stuff it into the <laughs> wife, the husband and wife's face. Have you seen that? And That probably doesn't happen in England. <laughs> this, right, this is turning into a very violent film now. Wait a second. If the, if the gun goes off then, this is just going to be uh, – Well, I think it goes off accidentally. Be... It doesn't go off the okay. way it's supposed to. Right, okay, fine. Yeah. So Megan yeah. is now 
at the wedding yeah. with Charles King. Mm -hmm. He's investigating uh, the mafia. Yeah. She is there on protective detail yeah. uh, to help him yeah. and also to protect the British ambassador. They're not allowed to go with any weapons, so she bakes a gun into the cake, which yeah. she happens to be very good at baking. Yeah. But then the gun goes off. Their cover is blown. The mafia know they're there. So then we need to have a chase. That would be a good idea. This is becoming less like a rom-com and more like a very bad spin-off of Bad Boys, I think. Yeah, maybe. I wonder maybe. whether we'll be selling this to Michael Bay. I'm sure you regret inviting me into this. <laughs> you must be joking. This is pure gold. You Michael Bay Mill movies make loads of money. <laughs> um, there is a chase. Uh, obviously, they have to lose uh, the antagonist. So we now we need some we need some uh, some allies, and uh, we need some baddies. Well, the baddies are clearly one of the the mafia. Uh, not a Don's is um, maybe it's his daughter getting married, something like that. It's usually something like that where it's. Um, but because they know that their family is uh, a little violent. There's their metal detectors. You've got to get the metal detectors at the wedding and the wedding should be in some sort of prominent location, practically a castle or a palace, but a very nice place. There are so many of those in Miami, these castles. You're right. It's going to be very easy to find one of those to film at. Uh, yep. well, Good. A mansion, some sort of a coastal mansion. Good. Yep. I like it. Um, and then what happens? So the, the, the set piece doesn't sound like it's the finale. It sounds like it's a spin-off. If the main crux of the story yeah. is that it's a romantic story about two people who are mismatched lovers. Yeah. And and you know, and she likes him and he likes her, but in between chasing the mafia and having a cake go off in the oven because it's got a gun inside it, mm -hmm. they just can't quite seem to get it together. But then after they have the chase, because yeah. everything went wrong at the castle in Miami, they have to regroup. They have to draft in. Uh, they, now, Charles King also needs a, a best friend. Well, wait a second. That's where they split up a little bit. I think that's where they split up, ah. and that's where the best friend will come in handy. So they're frustrated because they've sort of blown the mission after the wedding, and then they separate. They're mad at each other. Yeah. But don't worry because they'll be driving in a very small car together later on, and there'll be a <laughs> rainstorm where they have to kiss. Yeah, thank God for that. Okay. You're right. I think the best buddy should be a, another Brit living in Miami, maybe. Very flamboyant, maybe pink shirts, and he does all the dancing. He's the good dancer, and maybe maybe we can show some growth in Charles by at the beginning and at the wedding he's a terrible dancer, but maybe he learns some moves from the best friend. Maybe it's a gay, uh, gay best friend might be a good place. Yep, yep, that's, that's good. Let's get that demographic tick, tick, ticked off. That's often in there. Um, and then by the end, he can dance. Oh, God, that would be good. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. uh, Megan, um, she has to explain to the chief of police yeah. why, the, why the operation didn't go well. Yeah. But also there's a baking competition that, that's, that's uh, like very high stakes for her. I love so that. So she has like, she has double jeopardy. Yes. Um, oh. God, I love that. So what kind of competition would it be that, the, like a British baking show or something? Maybe she's doing one of those baking yeah, shows. Yeah, it's a bake-off. Yeah, absolutely. And they're filming the final episode. She's in the final bake-off. Yeah. Um, and she really has to inspire. This is where she, uh, she has to improvise. She has to, on thinking on her feet, she has to create some great ma masterpiece. I guess she's in a studio, in a television studio briefly, and then she has to rush out. She has to win the competition quickly and then rush out to hook up with, maybe she's got an alert from Charles. He's in trouble. As soon as she gets the alert, she figures out. I think. I think the the judge in the competition <gasps> is also oh, the mafia head honcho. Oh, I like that. And maybe he is what he's detaining her intentionally. Ah, yes. Maybe he say. Maybe she didn't make the final bake off, but he ch changes the results to keep her on the program longer. <laughs> Right, yeah. That way he can yep. say, you, Megan, are going to the final big off. And then Charles bursts in at the last minute. He has some dance moves uh, because he's learned to dance, yeah. which, and that's why they now let him into the studio. Okay. But uh, obviously we have to change the sex role, so it has to be that Megan saves Charles using a gun that she baked into a cake. That could be. But to catch the media, the mafia head honcho, they have to climb into somebody's tiny car. Yeah. 
They've got to be in a car to get a small car, maybe a Fiat or a, a Cooper. Yeah, yeah, a Mini Cooper. There we go. Yeah, something like that. And they're really faced to confront their argument of the past and decide to work together. Yeah, I feel like they dance out of the television station somehow. <laughs> Like, she's winning the Bake Off, but then they start dancing, and then she dances right through, like, this dance program that's being filmed next door, and that that gets her to escape. Like, the crowd forms around her, and she and Charles can escape and go get into the car. They Should they steal the car? Yeah, they have to steal the car. They've got to steal the car, but maybe, this, maybe the car is the Master Chef um, Mafia Allies car. <laughs> So they steal his car, right? And then they're off to find the guy who's maybe leaving the country. Maybe he's at the airport. We could end at the airport. He's at the airport. Yeah. Um, he's trying to leave the country after losing him at the wet- wedding. It's a lot to happen in one day, but that that often does happen. Yeah, it often does happen. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. but then at the very there's got to be some kind of reversal where it turns oh. out that mm-hmm. the flamboyant Brit, who is yeah. Charles <sighs> King's best buddy, is yeah. actually uh, on the side of the bad guys. In on it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to call the flamboyant Brits. Yeah. Uh, Philip oh. de Gracie. Oh, I love that. Philip de Gracie. That'll work. Uh, is uh, in on, is uh, in with the mafia. So does he have to use his dance skills at some point too? <laughs> oh, that's a good reversal. It's, Philip. It's, Third act now, so now it has to oh. start raining. Yeah, I think we need some rain. Um, and does the car stop working? I think that they, they end up having to walk <laughs> the rest of the way to the airport or wherever we're going ultimately. I think they have to walk slash <laughs> dance. They, they walk and dance their way mm-hmm. to the showdown. Mm-hmm. Sneak onto the Mafia airplane. Yeah, but well, Philip's still in their way. I think Philip's at the airport too. But maybe because he's dancing, the the security forces decide they need to pat him down. And sure enough, he's got a a handgun. Right. He can't fly on the plane. He can't get through security, whereas uh, Charles and Megan dance right through security. If 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 he'd only put it in a cake, he would have been fine. Are you sure you want to get onto a plane? That's a whole new new rabbit hole. Because then you're you're flying somewhere. But if you have the the big showdown on the airplane, um, then... Uh, as the airplane blows up in the background, uh, Charles and Megan can uh, share a parachute oh. and have their first kiss yeah. as they float gently back down onto the beach in Miami, oh. where, they, where they can dance, uh, dance to um, uh, some Cuban band. Yes, perfect. I think that's, that might be the end of the film, though. That's your last scene, isn't it? It is. Fantastic. Well, listen, let me just I let hate, me just type up the last sentence, and we'll send it off. I hate to see the plane blow up. That does mean some casualties, right? Uh, if you want to make an omelet, maybe it's a small plane. Not many people die. <laughs> <laughs> There's a girl. She likes this boy. She is Megan, a baker of cakes and part-time cop. She likes Charles King, a British cop in the U.S. on a mission. She's helping him to solve a, uh, a case while also baking the cakes. She has a best friend called Betsy, and the whole film is set in Miami. But uh, Charles and Meghan go to a mafia wedding, hoping to infiltrate it with a cake. Yeah. There's a British ambassador at the wedding, but the cake gun goes off. There is a chase. They lose the antagonist. They go to a castle in Miami. They regroup, draft in another friend, uh, the flamboyant Brit, uh, Philip de Gracie. Charles learns some dance moves. Meghan has to explain herself to the chief of police. But she's also in the final bake-off. She creates a masterpiece, but the judge is the mafia head, Honcho. He has rumbled her to distract her. Uh, getting away, they climb into a Mini Cooper. They have to work together. They dance out of the television station, win the crowd over, go to the airport. Mm. Uh, Philip de Gracie is in with the mafia. He betrays them. Now it starts raining. The car stops. They dance their way to the showdown, sneak onto the mafia airplane. The showdown of the plane ends in an explosion as Charles and Megan share a parachute to safety. And dance on the beach at sunset. And dance on the beach at sunset. Oh, my God. I never trusted that Philip de Gracie guy. <laughs> I didn't trust him for the moment I heard of him. And uh, the final touch is what's it called? Um, um, well, you got baking and sunsets and crime. Um, mafia bake off. Ma- mafia bake off. Bake off. Cakes of love. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Cakes of love. Mafia bake off. Cakes of love. Mafia bake off. 
Um, Cakes of love. Cakes of love. I think uh, this is a great time to say the um, email address is tworealcinemaclub at gmail.com. <laughs> if you have some suggestions, we are clearly in need here. But we are all ears. If you can put the final missing touches to Cakes of Love, we will cut you in for 15% <laughs> yeah. and not a penny more. <laughs> Tropical something. Tropical Cakes of Love. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Tropical cakes of love. It's beautiful. Oh my god, I love this film. It's a hit. It's a hit. It's a hit. Thank you. So, so easy. It's so easy. Screenwriting is so easy. It's 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 so easy